Good day guys, Vikra here. Hope everybody's doing well. Today I'm gonna to fix this air compressor for a uh, ODA8. Uh, this is the air compressor that runs the air suspension, and we're gonna fix it today. Uh, there's always a bit of a struggle with the boat, but uh, we'll, we'll manage. Okay, what you saw me do is drilling out those uh, those bolts here. That's why when you you buy a kit, you make sure they they provide the bolt because what happened? The bolts are steel, and this is how the um, aluminum housing. So what happened is it just builds up a layer of crud between the two, and it expands and it locks the bolt there. That's why I just went and drilled drilled inside and broke the bolt just so I can remove the uh, cylinder head, and then on my then I just drilled both sides, so I had to drill the whole way around, uh, all the whole way through this one as well, all the way through this that one, and then remove the thread. It's doable, or you can send it to machine job. Machine job will probably charge you uh, between forty and sixty dollar to remove a broken stud or a broken boat, which is totally worth it if you uh, if you know the price of these things. So now I'm gonna split apart the dryer, gonna inspect it. Okay, now that I split it, this is normal. There's always going to be rust in there because the uh, charge here is not, it's not yet uh, dried. So this spring always going to have a little bit of rust on there. This one have quite a bit. And um, if you don't have to, don't remove this part here because underneath there, there's a one-way valve connected to that hole at the bottom. So try to leave it like that, clean around, and just grease it to put it back in. And here we have the dryer, which is probably full by the weight of this thing. So we're gonna have to take that apart and uh, see what we can do with it. So we're just gonna twist and pull, and or just turn it like that. It's gonna come out, and that's your pre-filter. So we just put that aside. See, that's our filter, and it gets into these things. And these silica beads, they're full of water. They're so full of water that they stick together right now. So you always have to inspect this. It's not it's not just the ring. If the ring is bad, that's what we're gonna change. We replace we replace the bag, they will replace the uh, the ring, but these things need to be replaced as well, or you can dry them up in the oven. You just put them in the oven like as long as the uh, temperature is over uh, is over a hundred celsius you'll find so like 2 to 20 fahrenheit or whatever i don't know just put them to 300 for like an hour and it's gonna get the moisture out of these things you can reuse them or you can just put new ones in it's just same stuff you get when uh, you buy some clothes or electronic stuff and it's got this little uh, these little bags of silica same thing when you buy a filament for a 3d printer it's the same thing just little silica beads and you got to replace them every once in a while if you want the system to work correctly otherwise you're gonna have uh, water in your uh, fuel line in your line the, the air tank and whatever and you're gonna have problems eventually so here's all the beads let's weigh them out so let's say 139 grams which can we'll see after we cook them Okay, now we cooked them. So I got one hour at like 350 Fahrenheit, and see now they don't, they're not sticking to each other because now they're dry. So that's 20 grams of water that was in, in these pellets. Now we can put them back in here and close everything up. Now instead of uh, putting it just the way it was, uh, you see all those dark dots is where the filter uh, filter some stuff so now what I'm going to do I'm going to overlap it instead of putting it like this back to it where it was I'm going to overlap this way that way it will free up new spots new holes where uh, air can uh, easily go through and the pellets are here so it's all a matter of just putting putting that back in there I don't have my tripod so I have to bear with me 
that you have one ended. So I'm gonna put that in here. There we go. And the little washer here. Try to make it equal. And the spring is gonna compress all of that, of course. But yeah, let's put it put it there as good as you can, and we'll be fine. And now I gotta sandwich everything back together. I uh, cleaned up the O-ring in here. Spring goes in here. It's gonna keep the media full, you know. So this catcher is gonna be full. If you don't put a spring. Uh, it could like it could lower itself down and it would just bypass so that's why there's a spring Okay, drive is good and now I'm gonna remove the piston ring Doesn't matter. We're just gonna stretch it over And pull it out even if you break it. It doesn't matter because if you watch closely It's got a very very sharp taper like that because it's worn out and this one is pretty straight slide bow, but that's normal, that's how they're made. And this should restore the pumping, uh, the uh, compression inside this thing. And we gotta be careful with the little dowel. It goes like this, so the dowel is on top. And we're just gonna flick it over, there we go. That's for the piston seal. And now don't forget your O-ring here because you don't want dirt getting into it. So lube it all up. And I'm gonna install the cylinder head now. Okay, so it's ready to go back in the car. I put the tube back on and that's the intake tube. And I glue it down here with the RTV because the fitting is broken. As long as hair doesn't get through it, it's fine because I want the hair to come from here, which is a filtered source of air, uh, versus around here where it could get uh, absorbed water and all that stuff. And this reduces the life of the compressor, especially the dryer. So now, uh, no dirt can get in it, no water can get in it. It's got a new piston ring so it should work just fine. Water has always been good. So I'm gonna put it back in the car and keep on driving.